I am going to write a book, everyone. I am going to write a book in Korean. The reason I'm telling you this is it's all about you. I'm going to write a book in Korean about your life, about the scar that you have. And what I want you to do at the end of my presentation is give exchange one hour of your time to change thousands of hundreds of Koreans' lives. So I'll tell you what was my scar and how I was healed and what I want from you and what I want to do about it. So, to the left side, so everyone has a scar, everyone has a struggle. Can be something so personal, can be something less sporty, not being as good looking as Rodrigo, <laughs> or your family background and history. I think everyone has it. And the experience of the scar being healed is so powerful that you can go out and change the world. The mantra of the GSP gives you change words, change organization, and change life. If you cannot be yourself, if you cannot be healed and, and have the internal strength and the uh, renewable energy to move you forward, I believe it's really hard. So what was my scar? As you can imagine from the side and the right side, I'm from the tiny country, the Korea, the South Korea. Thankfully, it's not North Korea. <laughs> the city that was whole, lived in my whole life is that Seoul city. Crazy numbers of people every day. I feel I was stuck there. I never lived outside of Korea in my entire 29 years old of my life. And I always wanted to have the experience of outside the world. There's so many adventure seems to be going around the world. I just didn't have a chance. And my another scar is this. The apartment that you see is my entire life has been. I'm from a humble background. I'm the only one throughout my extended family ever came to the United States to study, ever came to overseas to study or do some other careers. More than just doing the merchandise or, or going to the company. And Korea, as you might, might imagine, some in the Asia is fairly materialistic. People care about what your father do, and what, what kind of car you have, what kind of clothes you're wearing. Even though I was struggling to not buy in with all those topics, it was just hard to embrace where I'm from and be graceful about it. And it was extremely hard coming to the GSP comparing myself with the great people here who seems to have a lot better background and have so many opportunities and adventure all around the world. But how I was healed. So this was the picture that we took from the talk in here. And for those of you who have known GSB, the talk is the student initiative talks about the, their own personal life to their classmates. So we gather once a week, and everyone shares one of the most vulnerable parts of their life, and the authenticity and the vulnerability of the story is something that really goes a far way. So in retrospect, hearing all those stories in a very deep level, I get to engage with people and understand and embrace my background and be okay with it, and my scar got killed. So let me give you an example. There was a Korean American in my class that seems to have a great time, because he's Korean American, but he was living his whole life in the United States. Wow, check box one. He was living outside of Korea, traveling all around the world, did interesting stuff. He seems, he seems to have a better background than me. So I kind of envied him being a little jealous. And hearing the story of struggling to be Korean or be American growing up was really touching and powerful. So he gave me this 
example, a moment in his life that his parent, who was first immigrant to the United States, didn't really want him to be Korean because he they want their kids to be just American, so he cannot speak Korean in his house. He didn't eat even in kimchi and bulgogi. So an eight years old boy went to school, and it was one day that Asian food day. There was this sushi, kimchi, and then all the soups are in front of him, and people were expecting him to speak. Oh, there's Asian food. You gotta know something about it. And he just did not say a single word. He was crying all day. That was how painful him growing up and struggling the identity of whether to fit in Korean or American. And hearing that, it was just one single story, but hearing that just healed me. Wow, being a Korean in my life wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. And also some, it was actually other person's story, but from a very, very rich background, if they had a family history of divorce and the father and mother and issues like that, this is a, became a bunch, big scar on him, which I never encountered in my life. And people from more humble background than me are going out and trying to change the world. That's inspiring. So now I get to embrace myself and being okay with who I am. Then what am I am going to do? I told you I'm going to write a book of Korean of your life. So let me tell you a little bit of Korea. Number one country in the world, mobile penetration. Everyone's on the phone. And I luckily have a little bit of presence there. I have my personal blog, and thousands of people coming in, and I know a lot of people, so I can leverage my, my social presence right now. And also, the highest suicide rate in OECD countries, and working hours in OECD countries too. People are working really hard, and not happy about their life. So this story of all of you can go far away, leveraging what I have right now. So let me in and now it's time to flip those pandas around. <laughs> this is time. I want you to take out your phone. And you can just email me at that sunbag at stepper.edu and say I'm in. And you can pass it around <laughs> and tell others to join my project. Thank you.